Hello and welcome to another video. Um, this one is a follow-up to the last one where uh, we explored how to get Omnisphere, the sequence of the Omnisphere, to play in 3-4. This time we're going to look at compound time signatures. What do we mean by compound time signatures here? We're looking at things like 6-8, 12-8. And this one is going to be predominantly 6-8. Um, and I was thinking, what's the best way to demonstrate 6-8? Well, in my other sort of job is uh, as a church organist, and I was thinking, what's the most famous tune that a lot of people, whether the church goes or not, um, will know? That's in 6-8. And I thought, I know, bring a bit of Christmas to the middle of May. So, very famous tune, Silent Night. I won't tell you the story behind how Silent Night came about because uh, that will ruin the magic of the tune. And we'll save that for another day. Um, but we're going to look at the sequencer here. And I'll just change the height on that because that's not quite right. If I get click those off, double click. There we go. So, single click, just a quick recap of how to tie these notes. Single click brings a note on, double click ties it. Um, and to demonstrate what we've done here in the sequencer, we need to, sorry, we're going to need to have a look at some music. Um, this says 3 4. Now, literally every piece of time, well, every time I play Silent Night, no matter what the arrangement is, in 6 8. Um, yes, you can write it out as 3 4, and that's what they've done here, and they've lengthened the notes to make it fit in 3-4. But we won't go into the detail there on how to change 6-8 to 3-4. What we're predominantly looking at is the note values and how they match the sequence. So that first note, we've got a dotted crotchet. So that straight away says to you, well, each one of these must be a quaver. Because we've got a quaver and a quaver gives me a crotchet give me another quaver, that gives me a dotted crotchet. That one there is your A. This tied bit here is your crotchet of your G. And this really long one is your minim of an E. It's because we've got a crotchet, so a minim is uh, two crotchets, but that's a dotted one, so we need to stick another crotchet on the end, so we get crotchet, 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 so we get three crotchets in a row. And then we just basically repeat the formula, and we get the first two bars of Silent Night. And that's how you get the sequencer to play in 6-8. One thing to remember, though, is make sure you set the clock to an eighth note, otherwise it just speeds everything up and it will not fit in with your sequencer whatsoever. Um, so stick it to eighth note. Remember, each step will equal a quaver, uh, a crotchet, sorry, which is an eighth note. Um, and you can program it in. What you need to do, though, is this strong beat of 6-8. There is, like, two, in a way, two strong beats. You've got the first beat here is strong, loud, and it goes soft, and then it's medium, soft, strong, soft, medium, soft, and that gives you, well, it fills the ear into hearing that first beat into, as, as the main beat, and that's that's what focuses it, and also will tang with the sequencer nicely as well. So there we go, this is 6-8 in uh, Omnisphere sequencer, and to play us out, Christmas in the middle of May. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, give a ding on the bell, uh, and you'll be told when the next video is uploaded. And if there's anything, anything at all that you didn't understand what I'm saying in this little video, put a comment below, um, and I'll try to explain the best I can as to how this all works. Um, if there's anything else you would like me to cover within Omnisphere, 
please leave a comment and I will certainly get back to you on that one. And subscribe to the channel. Your subscription to the channel means absolutely everything. You probably hear that on literally every YouTube video you hear, but it is true. It does mean the world. We're up to 100 now. Um, and I'm hoping to get to the next 100 quite quickly with your support. Uh, so thank you for your time.